Hi. Today we'll look at how you can create tests and worksheets in Aurelia and Musician. Before we start, tests are sets of questions that teachers can create for their students and classes. Using tests allows you as the teacher to decide exactly what your students will practice. Teachers use tests in many different ways, daily worksheets, formal assessment, and customised learning tasks. In Aurelia and Musician, we include loads of pre-prepared tests for you. There are tests for band, jazz, and of course general ear training and music theory. You can assign any of these tests to any of your students, as we'll show you later in this video. Many teachers like to create their own tests, ensuring that their students are covering content that is relevant to their current areas of study. In the Control Centre, select Tests and Worksheets. We're going to create a simple End of Semester 1 Theory Test. Click New Test and enter the name and description. We'll come back to the options in just a moment. Firstly, we'll put some content into our test. Choose Edit Entries. And now, click Add Entry. Our first entry will be Note Reading. We choose the number of questions, the syllabus, the note reading topic, level, and the number of marks for the entry. The second entry is rhythm tapping from a higher level. You'll notice that I've increased the number of marks for this entry, giving these rhythm tapping questions more weight or importance in the final score. You can add as many entries as required. Simply repeat this process. Notice the level description box. This provides more detail about the content that you are adding as you browse the topics and levels. If a topic has playback, generally in Aurelia, you can modify the number of replays that the student is allowed. When you are choosing the syllabus for any of your entries, if you have created your own custom syllabus, that will also appear. It's absolutely fine to mix and match content from multiple syllabuses. Select the classes that you wish to take this test. When the students next log in, your end of semester test will be available for them. Note that if you want to take the test, ensure that it's also available for the default class. There's a very helpful feature here. You can easily disable all tests for a particular class. We'll now work through the test options. It can be handy to allow your students to quit a test and then resume it at a later stage, especially if it's a worksheet style of assignment. If you are using a test as a worksheet, many teachers wish their students to receive feedback as they work. However, if it's a proper assessment task, you can easily disable the feedback for that test. There are also many situations where you may wish to prevent your students from seeing their own results. Sometimes marks need to be standardised or turned into a letter grade. There are two options controlling this. Many teachers allow their students to take tests multiple times, especially if they are worksheets. The results from each attempt are all stored separately. When you look at the reports, there are numerous ways you can view these results. The best attempt, worst attempt, or combined attempts. The time slot feature is essential when using our cloud system. When using cloud, your students have access to the software wherever they are, at school or at home. It's very common that you would prefer your students to complete some tasks while under supervision, and the time slots feature makes this very simple. 
For example, you may require your band students to complete the end of semester test when in your band room between 9 and 11 a.m. You can set up as many time slots as you need. It's actually very useful to use time slots to control student deadlines. Simply create a time slot that ends when your students must have completed their work. The last thing that I'll mention regarding test creation is a really, really helpful feature. You can actually copy any test and then modify that copy. This is especially useful if you would like to use the built-in tests as a template for your own. And finally, the most important thing of all, how do students actually take a test? On the main screen, click Start Test. A list of all tests that are available to the currently logged in user appears. Students can view basic information about each test, the number of times they can attempt, the length of the test, etc. Note that we do separate the custom tests for them, making them much easier to find. When the student starts the test, they are guided through each entry automatically. That completes our tutorial on tests and worksheets. Now that you know how to create and assign these tasks, the next step is learning how to view the results. You'll find a training video covering results and reports on our website. Thanks for watching.